going on, guys? So, um, video today about your weight. And everybody's always talking or sends me messages or it's talking about, I can't lose weight, I can't gain weight. Those are the two most common things I hear when I talk to people about working out. I can't gain weight and I can't lose weight. Okay, first of all, get the mentality out of your head. The I can't part, first of all, throw that out the window. If you have a goal, write it down. I don't care what it is, whether it's to, you want to own your business, want to make X amount of money, you want to be, you want to do whatever, write it down. That's, that's step one. And then we're going to go come up with a real plan on how to do it. Don't be that person that sits around and says, when I ask them, okay, well, what are you doing to lose weight? Uh, well, I do cardio once a week or once a day, or I do fast cardio, whatever. That's not a plan. That is an action. That's not that's, that's one part, and it's actually not the most important part. You can't gain weight, you can't lose weight. That's what I'm going to bring it to, but in your goal, come up with an in-depth plan and think about all of the factors that surround it. So, you can't lose weight. Well, first of all, tell yourself you can lose weight. Have your mind believe that you can achieve your goal. Because if you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. Like, I don't care what your goal is, but believe in it. And um, same way, like... If I want to bench 500 pounds, I need to believe I can bench 500 pounds. I can't be that guy that's like, oh, well, 405 is probably more realistic. No, it, set a goal and believe you can do it. That's, that's your first step. Have the right mentality. Second of all, so let's start with the losing weight thing. I'm going to tell you two foolproof ways. One, one to lose weight, one to gain weight. You lose weight by eating less than you are by eating less calories than you need to consume, and you gain weight by eating more calories than you need to consume. So I think everyone understands that. But people get messed up because they read all these things on the internet, oh, try this diet, try this diet, and it doesn't work for them. Well, because not everyone's the same. Do your own shit. You have to figure your own stuff out. So if you're that person that's like, okay, well, I'm following this program for six weeks, and you're eating this, and the first week you gain a pound, and you're supposed to be losing a pound a week, don't go on that for the next six weeks and gain another five pounds. It doesn't make any sense. Adjust it. So what I normally do, if you, what I would start with is go online and try to figure out like what your metabolic rate is. If you don't know, that's fine. But I'm going to tell you foolproof ways to do this. If you're trying to lose weight, cut carbs, 300 grams of protein a day, and almost no fat. Or low fat. Um, get all your fat from like your meat sources basically. If you have no carbs I pr and you're eating clean proteins, 300 grams of protein a day and basically nothing else, you will lose weight. It's, a, it's virtually impossible for you not to. I'm telling you, as a, if you're a guy. Girls, yeah, you probably lose weight on that too. So think about that. And I would still keep carbs in around your workouts. Um, that's just me. But if you have a really slow metabolism, you might just have to be that guy that eats like 250, 300 grams of carbs, 300 grams of protein a day, which is like 1,200 calories, and I promise you, you will lose weight. It sucks, it's boring, but it will work. And that's what, and that's what I'm saying, is like, everyone goes online, they're trying to find this magic solution. It's like, no, it's just, you have to figure out what works for you. I'm not recommending you go and eat 300 grams of protein a day, and that's it. But maybe you can try that for two days, and then, or eat, a gram, 1.25 grams of protein per pound body weight, and basically no carbs, basically no fats. Like your fats are going to come from your meat sources or wherever you're getting your proteins from. If you try that and, okay, first week you lost five pounds, a lot of that's going to be water, but then you can say next week you lose four pounds. You can say, okay, I don't want to lose weight this fast. So then you can start to add some carbs and some proteins back in. Now, vice versa, the person that messaged me all the time, and I get this a lot, I can't gain weight, and yes, you can. And I was caught up in that for forever. Oh, I can't gain weight, I have high metabolism, whatever. You can, you can be burning 10,000 calories a day and still gain weight. You just need to eat more than 10,000 calories a day. It's hard, but the thing is, a lot of people don't actually know what they're eating. Because I used to think I was eating a ton, but I was probably only eating 25,000, 2,500, 3,000 calories a day, which is nothing. When you start tracking it, then... If you eat, I guarantee anyone out here that's, if you're just working out, eat eight, uh, let's say, start with eight 750 calorie meals a day. 
Start with that. See if you gain weight. I bet most of you guys will. Right? At least one gram of protein per pound of body weight. The rest comes from carbs and fats. So, eight meals a day at 750 calories per meal. I guarantee, and if it's not working, then you increase it to a thousand calories per meal. Like, and those are extremes. So those two that I gave you are extremes. Most people out there will be somewhere in the middle. But the thing is, you just need to try it. So be realistic. Um, go online to these metabolic calculators and put in yourself and be honest. And let's say it comes out that you say you should be eating 2,200 calories a day to maintain it. You want to gain weight, eat 3,000. You want to lose weight, eat 1,800. Easy. And then guess what? You're going to plateau and you're going to have to adjust. So it's that simple. But come up with a real plan and not this bullshit where, oh yeah, I'm trying things. No, you're not really trying anything. You're not. You're doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. It's the definition of insanity. Stop doing it. So I know guys that have done the same workouts, same diet for years, and they have no results because they never change anything. You have to constantly be changing things up. Because everything that you're doing will stop working at some point. There is a point, whether it's supplements, whether it's your training split, whether it's drugs, whether it's food, it doesn't matter. It's go if there is going to be a point where you're going to have to come up and realize that you're going to have to switch if you want to get new results. And it's just that simple. So anyway, I don't want to hear these comments anymore. I can't gain weight, I can't lose weight. Yes, you can. And I know that you can because I've had tons of problems. I've had so many people tell me, like, Oh man, you want to lose weight for a show in four weeks. You can't lose 20 pounds in four weeks. Yeah, you can. I believe me, you can. There was a guy that did, this isn't healthy, but he did um, like a 28 day water fast. He lost like 100 pounds or something because he wasn't having any food. So yes, you can lose a lot of weight. It's just, are you willing to do what it takes to get to your goal? So lose weight, eat less. Yes, it sucks. It's not really that hard. Work out, eat high protein and try to hold on to your muscle mass. Trying to gain weight, eat at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and just eat carbs, man. Like, carbs, if you're trying to gain weight, and if you're trying to lose weight, cut them out. That's it. So, anyway, I'm tired of all this. But if, you're, if you want to achieve a goal, come up with a real plan and write it down. Not this, oh, I came up with this idea yesterday that I want to lose 10 pounds, but I'm not really doing anything different. So, anyway, that's it. Um, hope you guys got something out of this. Um, if you are somebody that's working towards your goal and you actually have your goals written down, keep going. Uh, I promise it will pay off. If you're not, it's no, it's never too late to start. So you can achieve your goal. Believe me. I know. And it's, it's a lot of work and you might have a lot of people that tell you you can't do it, but I know that you can. And I'm trying to show you guys that you can do whatever you set your mind to. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, please comment, subscribe. Let me know if, what your goals are. Write them down in the comment section below if you feel free to share them. Anyway, appreciate all the support. I'm going to kill this workout and um, I am going to get a 500 pound deadlift. So you guys can have my word on that. Like I've been saying this whole time, by the end of the, by the, end of the month, May, I have like three days. See, like mentality, but 500 pound deadlift, 315 bench and what? 350 squat. We're going to try it. Anyway, no, we're going to do it. So anyway, appreciate all the support. Uh, subscribe and um, turn on the bell so you get notifications when I post and um, we also need to hit 500 subscribers by the end of this month and I think we're at like 489 so we're definitely on track to do it so please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon I appreciate all the support